Welcome to this video. We shall talk about materials, different types and different forms and different characteristics and how do we group them. We eat different types of food. For example, rice we eat or maybe we use wheat flour to make a chapati or maybe we use maize flour or corn flour to make a, um, for example, pizza. We eat different types of food. We wear different types of clothes. Maybe you wear a cotton shirt or a silk sari, or maybe you may be wearing a velvet blouse. We live in houses made of different types of materials. For example, made of bricks, made of stone, made of steel, made of wood, made of cement. Different types of materials are used for building houses. Whatever we see around us is of different type or a shape or size or a texture or a material. Whatever we see around us is made up of different types of materials, different shapes of materials or sizes of materials or texture of materials. For example, the car is made up of steel. The football is made up of leather. The basketball or volleyball is made of rubber. The swimming pool, the mm, floats are made up of plastic filled in air. That road that we walk on is made of tar or cement. The chair we sit is made up of plastic or wood. So different things are made up of different materials. They are of different type. Even wood used for making a blackboard in the classroom is different from the wood used for making the table and chair is different from the wood used for making the doors and windows. So there are so many ways to group the objects. Based because they are of different material. Vessel or pot or furniture are made by man from natural things. For example, from the wood, we, from the trees we get wood, from the wood we get furniture. From the soil we get mud, from the mud we make pots. From the earth we extract minerals, from the minerals we get metal, from the metal we make vessels. For example, copper vessel or an aluminium vessel. Or say the edible fruits. From the plant we get fruits and then of the fruit we make fruit juice or a fruit salad. Everything that is of yellow color is on grouping. For example, you have a yellow color fruit called mango, then you may have a yellow color flower of a mustard. So the grouping all in a yellow color base. Or maybe on fibers, all man-made fibers or natural fibers, you can group them. So the fibers that we use to wear. So these are in different types. We can group certain things based on their characteristics, based on their property, based on what they are used for, based on their color, based on their shape, etc. Sorting materials. What are all the objects that you can think of? What are the properties? For example, the table will not break, but a chair may break because table is a flat panel while chair has legs which can be broken. And then a chalk piece breaks, but the board doesn't break when you write. So depending upon the properties, depending upon the characteristic, in a blackboard you can write, but on a white wall you cannot write. Depending upon the qualities, a pen you can bend and it will come back because it is maybe rubber plastic. But a pencil, when you bend, it will break. So rubber is different from pencil. Depends on the qualities. Based on this, we can sort the materials. That is, we can put breakable and unbreakable. We can do bendable and not bendable. Like that, we can group the materials or sort the materials. Different types of objects can be made from the same material. That is, from the wood, we can make a chalk piece, we can make a duster, we can make a blackboard. Paper is used for making a book or a newspaper or a decoration material or a greeting card or a wedding card or a business card. Paper is used. Cotton. Cotton is used to make a wick for burning a flame or as a fabric to wear as a cloth or as a mattress for us to sleep. Cotton is used in different forms. That is, different materials like a wick or fabric or mattress is made from the same material, cotton. Then, different types of material can be combined to make one object. To make an oil. For example, if you want a table, you will need a wooden panel and then you will need the nails, then you will have a metallic hammer to nail them, then you might need a paint to paint it. So different types of materials are mixed together or combined together to form an object called maybe a table or chair, furniture, etc. So materials are of different types, objects are of different types, different objects and different combination can be used to make different objects. Hardness and luster. This is one of the characteristic or property of a material. Some materials are hard. For example, you cannot press a wood. You can, you can press a rubber. You can press a balloon even if it is filled up. You cannot press a pencil. So different materials, some materials are hard. For example, aluminium or iron is harder than wood. 
then we have some are similar for example aluminium iron steel copper etc are similar why because they are all metals then also these aluminium or iron is different from some other material for example different from wood different from paper different from cloth so based on the characteristics we can group materials some are hard some are soft some are little bit hard little bit soft etc then metals metals have a shiny surface that is they have a luster so metals are hard metals have a luster wood is also hard but wood does not have a luster then metals lose luster by rusting what is rusting rusting is a chemical process by which due to the action of air and water the metal loses its shine that is why some old materials if you look at will be of a different color when it is put outside in the sun or rain metals are hard and they do not break metals are having luster likewise some things are soft and can be compressed for example a dough can be compressed or mud can be compressed and then some materials are soluble or insoluble for example salt is a solid but when you put it in a water and mix it it will become soluble you cannot see it again but if you take some sand and put it in water some mud will dissolve in water but the rest of the sand will remain that is called insoluble that does not dissolve some materials change from solid to liquid or gas some materials change from solid to liquid or gas for example water when heated becomes vapor that is gas water when cooled down too much becomes solid that is ice some materials float and some sink when you put it in water if they are heavy they sink if they are light they soak and if they float or if they sink it is fine but what happens is they neither float nor sink but dissolve dissolve means completely disappear by mixing and for example you put a spoon of salt in a bottle of water and mix it you will not find salt you will find only salt water so the material that dissolve in the beginning and then after some time collect at the bottom of the liquid they are called sediment if you put a lot of salt some salt will remain in the bottom of the bottle that is called sediment but if you put little salt it will be completely dissolved substance that dissolves is called solute and the substance in which it is dissolved is called solvent the result is after the mixture it is called solution transparency if you can see through if the light passes through it is called transparent for example glass this is one property of a material glass is a has a property of transparency you can see through then there are wood wood has a property called opaque that is it is not transparent it means what light cannot pass through if you hold a wood plate you cannot see through if light can pass through some wall and you can see the things on the other side a little bit it is called translucent that's a tinted film you can see but not very clearly so the property of transparency or opaqueness is there or translucent we have the property of hard or soft we have the property of a soluble or insoluble we have the property of having luster then we have another property of based on the based on these properties whether it is soft or hard whether it changes shape whether it is uh, having luster whether the luster goes away we can group the objects we sort objects according to the materials they are made up of for example all plastics we put together all paper we put together or cloth we put together we sort objects according to the material based on which they are formed this is because of the different materials have different characteristics we cannot put a sharp knife along with a paper it will tear you cannot put a knife or a needle along with the clothes because the fabric will get torn off so this is sharp or this is hard and the cloth or paper is soft so we don't put soft and hard together we keep things of similar characteristics together so you keep all your books in one place you keep all your clothes in one place you keep all your plastic toys in one place so that is how we group and store the things it is easy to maintain to safeguard and to manage also it is not good to keep things together for other purposes also for example if you have a heavy Uh, iron ball and if you keep an iron ball on the top of your uh, soft uh, material like uh, pillow then it will so change the shape of the pillow likewise if you keep a big table on the top of a banana what will happen the banana will become squeezed off if you keep a sharp metal knife in a pocket of your velvet gloves what will happen the velvet get 
gone off. So that is why we keep different materials and store them different objects differently based on the property of the material which is the constituent of that object. Thanks for watching this video on grouping of materials and objects.